If you were to cut me open, I'm at least 45% peanut butter. Hi again, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today, man oh man, this is a special one because I have got a handful of cups. Reese's Cups, nine of them in fact, including the newly released and much talked about Big Cup with potato chips. So if you've been wondering just what the heck all the hype is about, do stick around because we're gonna be trying all of these, ranking them one through nine and determining once and for all which of these cups gives us the most Reese's to live. Reese's peanut butter cup. The most obvious place to start today's episode is with the original, the one that started it all, the Reese's peanut butter cup. This was developed all the way back in 1928 by H.B. Reese, who was a shipping foreman for Milton Hershey, and today it is the number one seller in the entire Hershey's line of treats, generating over $2 billion annually in sales. You know, whoever said you can't make everybody happy has clearly never interfaced with a jar of peanut butter. All right, there's not a lot to see here that you don't already know, but we've got to set the bar somewhere, and this is the example for all future peanut butter cups to follow. It's chocolate, it's smooth peanut butter, and it's just a little bit dehydrated in comparison to a normal jar to give it a little bit of a crumbly candy consistency, but it's still smooth in texture. Hmm. For me, there's no question why this has been the number one treat in the entire world, and even naysayers who feel differently know to choose their words carefully. I like this one Amazon review from Sid Toon, who gives it five stars and writes, I'm Australian. I don't get this peanut butter and chocolate thing that you North Americans go crazy for, but I like Vegemite, so who am I to judge, but the friend I got them for loved it and threatened to get me kicked out of Canada if I didn't give it five stars. So you know what? This is the bar. It's been set. And for now, it's in spot number one. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So up next, we've got the Reese's White. These are the white chocolate version of the original peanut butter cup with the same Reese's peanut butter on the inside, but a vanilla chocolate exterior. These were originally called white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups, but they had to be changed following public outrage that these didn't actually contain any chocolate. The white chocolate being made from coconut oil and milk fat solids as opposed to cocoa solids and mixed with vanilla. I mean, now seriously, misrepresenting the people with milk fats as opposed to cocoa fats? My God, Reese's. I'm so wildly offended by this that frankly, you're gonna have to pay a serious price of restitution if you're planning to keep me around as a consumer of your products. You know, I'm not gonna settle for anything less than a package of peanut butter cups because I don't actually know if you have any other assets and frankly, I'm easy to please. So there you go. As advertised, there's nothing inherently different about this cup from the original cup outside of the shell casing and it's still the same peanut butter on the interior, allegedly. Hmm. I gotta say, this one's not working for me the same way that the original does. There's something about that mix of milk chocolate and peanut butter that's kind of just like a perfect harmonious marriage. You know, like Kelly Clarkson and Brandon Blackstock. I'm sorry, they're what? Where was I again? Right, hating on the white chocolate. Uh, I find it sweeter than the milk chocolate, maybe a little bit overpoweringly so. Now, my feelings are actually in the minority, where Amazon reviews were overwhelmingly on the positive side, where people such as GJ gave it five stars and wrote, my God, why did I buy these? Ha ha ha, they're so good. It's like crack for fat guys. Now, I think it's important to note that I too am a fat guy, and I can assure you, I am not addicted to these particular Reese's. Besides, everybody knows that the real crack for fat guys are those little powdered donuts from Hostess. The only people who even buy those are fat guys. It's not like they're any good, but we can't stop eating them. These though, uh, they're going into spot number two. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Reese's Dark. So we're still sticking with the theme of just mixing chocolate with peanut butter. Dark chocolate though is generally heavier on the cocoa and less on the milk and sugar, giving it a much more bitter flavor making it appealing in baking when sugar's already present and you're probably just looking for a little bit of balance. These were introduced in the early 2000s and made a permanent part of the Reese's rotation as of 2009. So again, we're looking at the same general makeup of a Reese's peanut butter cup, just with darker layers of chocolate around it. 
So admittedly, dark chocolate's just not for me. I'm not a dark chocolate kind of guy. Maybe you're a dark chocolate guy or even a dark chocolate gal, but hopefully not a dark chocolate dog because chocolate's bad for you and you shouldn't eat it. However, one person who did eat it was professional eater of Reese's Cups, dark chocolate lover, who rates them at five stars at top culinary magazine, target.com, saying, I don't really ear Reese's regular peanut butter cups because I find them too sweet. These are perfect and feature the dark chocolate more, and you can still get that peanut butter without being overly sweet. These are great! Well, dark chocolate lover, I don't want to accuse you of any specific biases one way or another, despite your name, but just know that we're gonna have to agree to disagree on this front, and frankly, all fronts, because this is a clear, definitive, third place. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Our fourth competitor today is the eerie and spooky Franken Cup, which came out around Halloween and might be expired. But honestly, if that concerns you, don't ever come over to my house for a cup of tea because I've got Lipton that dates back to the early modern era. I'm kidding, of course. These are actually fine through April of 2022. Though I'm not joking about the Lipton. I'm barely sure my sugar cookie tea expired back when Lincoln was president. I was gifted these to review for the channel before Halloween, and then I promptly put them in my pantry and forgot all about them. That also applies to a bunch of weird flavors of wafer cookies. I've even teased them on the channel a couple of times, absolutely intending to do the episode, and then I'll get sidetracked by a new flavor of cereal or something, and the next thing you know, it's Christmas. You know, maybe I'll do it this week. Put hashtag durian cookie in the comments below if you want to see me eat a wafer cookie that makes me gag. I'm not quite sure what makes these Franken cups, if I'm being completely honest. Like a little bit of green food coloring? Who cares? Frankenstein's supposed to be a monster with makeshift internal parts, and you're telling me you couldn't have tossed a handful of trail mix into the middle? Uh, nope. So far, it's just standard peanut butter that I'm seeing. You know, this green shell at the bottom had better be mint flavored or something. This is the part of the review where I normally just hem and haw and pretend I'm thinking about what to do with this. You know what, I'm not even gonna pretend this time around. Straight to last place with you. This is just a standard peanut butter cup with green food coloring. That's stupid. The marketing team put absolutely no thought into this. If you're gonna exploit a holiday for profit, I wanna see an effort. Have like little pretzel sticks sitting at the side like bolts, or even paint a little Frankenstein face on top of the cup. I mean, make them eight feet tall. If you're gonna call it Frankenstein, I want some resemblance to Frankenstein. Green? I'm the one going green because you people make me sick. In fact, you know what? Don't even take it from me. Take it from Deborah, who gave these three stars and says, do not eat these, made a good present. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. All right, so we've wrapped up with the original cups and now we're on to the big cups. And if you think for a second, I'm gonna touch a single joke about big cups, I want you to think again. This is a family show and I only touch big cups away from YouTube. The first one up is the big cup with peanuts. And you know what? I appreciate clear marketing on this one. Not like that Frankenstein nonsense. Oh, get a load of the beauty of that. I'm gonna quickly put this down because I don't want it to melt in my hand before the taste test, but I'm not a crunchy peanut butter guy. Some people are, personally it's not for me. There's something about a crunchy peanut butter and jam sandwich that just doesn't sit right with me. I love texture, but there's a time and a place and my PB and J needs to be something that I can just bite through and swallow in the same movement. Wonder Bread's perfect because it just instantly dissolves. It's less of a food than it is a paste and it just sort of takes down all that peanut butter and jam for this instantly satisfyingly sweet bite. Peanuts come in and are like, hey Kirby, it's time to start chewing. And frankly, I don't like that. Anything that precludes my immediate satisfaction from a PB&J is an unwanted visitor and they can stay the hell out of my sandwich. This here is different though. A piece of candy doesn't need to be sucked down like it's applying for a Dyson commercial. This is to be savored and enjoyed. So the peanut becomes a potentially attractive new addition. Oh, hmm, that is good. That's really good. When it comes to candy, I'll be honest, I just want peanuts. Payday, for example, takes a whole lot of flack on the internet and I have absolutely no idea why. For me, it's about as good a candy bar as there is. And yeah, you know what? That's a hill I'm willing to die on. Come at me, trolls, light up my comment section, tell me why I'm wrong, 
because I'm absolutely not, but I'm going to laugh at your sad attempts to tell me otherwise. This is a fight with me that you cannot win. Crazy enough, though, I might be fighting this battle alone because I could not find a single review of these things online. Granted, I'll be honest, I only looked for like 12 seconds. I spent the rest of the time just savoring this Reese's cup. Yeah, so we've got the addition of peanuts into a really solid chocolate and peanut butter mix. I legitimately can't think of a reason why these aren't the top selling Reese's candy. I don't know why these aren't more widely talked about or even available. This is way, way better than a normal peanut butter cup for me. This is gonna fly all the way into first place and really, I don't think the peanut butter cup should even be all that close to it. Like, it's in second, but it's a really distant second. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Our sixth competitor of the day is an interesting limited time Christmas big cup featuring peanut brittle. And you can see that it's Christmas based on the fancy wrapping paper around the edge of the packaging. The cup itself has peanut brittle flavored cream and is packed with a crunchy peanut butter on the inside. So I won't lie, I'm a little bit disappointed that what we've got is literally what's advertised on the package itself. What I'd have liked to have seen would have been actual little chunks of candied peanut brittle in the middle. I think those little glass-like shards would have made for a really great texture mashup, although describing glass-like shards in a candy probably makes me sound like a sociopath. So I'll say this about these, these are solid, but there's something about that cream shell that just isn't hitting the mark for me. There's like a little bit of maple in the shell and it's making the entire thing a little heavy on the sweet side. I do really like the crunch. Um, as we've established, a crunch is a good thing. Admittedly, I'm a little bit lost where to place this one. So let's check out a review and see if it can help me through my thoughts a little bit. Well, thankfully an incentivized reviewer named The Sample Squirrel gave these a try landing on a three star rating and stated, I had hoped to like this Reese's more than I do as I love peanut butter and brittle, but I found myself missing the chocolate flavor of this classic. That actually does help me. I think that that's what it is. It's so hard to replace the chocolate and peanut butter and getting too far away from that combination is just straying a little bit too far from your lane. I'm gonna put these in third place because I did like them more than the white chocolate, but it doesn't touch the original. So I, I feel good about this placement. And if you're feeling all nice and good about this review so far, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber. Your subscriptions do help me out as I continue to grow the channel and gain a wider audience. A subscription to me is an even better gift than a peanut crusted, peanut wrapped, peanut butter stuffed cup with peanuts. Now let's get back to the show. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Item number seven is the big cup with pretzels. Now this guy here, this has potential. While my gut tells me that peanuts in the middle are still probably the way to go, my gut's been known to be wrong from time to time. Nobody's perfect. Pretzels still allow for that blend of salty and sweet, but without double dipping into that peanut on peanut violence that we had over here. And sometimes it's all about balance, the umami of it all. And yeah, I just talked about a peanut butter cup stuffed with pretzels by using beautiful Japanese descriptors. That's just the kind of in-depth real talk that you're gonna get over here on this channel. I gotta tell you, this is not as appealing as the Peanuts one. There's something kind of unsettling about this entire setup. It looks like an elementary school science project about an underground ecosystem. You've got the top layer over here, which is the soil, but then lurking right beneath it is the second sandy layer of peanut butter. And inside the peanut butter is a colony of pretzel bugs. And they all report to this giant pretzel over here. This tastes a lot better than it looks. Reese's knows what they're doing with this lineup of big cups. You know what, let's see what the reviews say. Uh, here's one from Sick from Reese's giving it one star and saying, ate one of these cups around 8 p.m. and then I was up all night with severe stomach cramps and major diarrhea. Like, sh should I be afraid of what I just ate? Should I be taking an Imodium just in case? You know what, comment below, you guys are my web MD. So I, I'll admit that I'm a little bit concerned now. My initial gut reaction was to put these into third place, but I'm concerned that my gut reaction later is gonna be a definitive number two worthy of last place. So, you know, I, I'm gonna leave these in third, but I may have to come back later and edit in a reprisal for these. Reese's Peanut 
Peanut butter cup. Damn, we're down to the last two. Does this episode really have to end? Now the good news for you, and especially for me, is that I do actually have additional Reese's candy that I'm gonna cover in a different episode. I just didn't want to muddy the waters by trying to compare cup to bar. And this big beautiful cup right here is stuffed with Reese's Pieces. Now would you believe that the Reese's Pieces have only been in North America for a little bit over 40 years? The concept of the Reese's Pieces seems so easy that I'm shocked it took so long to develop them. You just take an M&M's candy shell and stuff it full of dehydrated peanut butter. Reese's Pieces actually blew up in fame following the 1982 release of E.T., where young Elliot lures E.T. into his home with a trail of candy and then promptly kidnaps him. With any luck, Elliot grew out of that habit before adulthood because otherwise E.T. 2 is taking place inside of a state penitentiary. That is glorious. Look at all those little bits of orange, yellow, and brown candy. It actually took me a long time to come around on Reese's Pieces when I was a kid. I was always more taken with the colorful array of Smarties or Skittles, while Reese's candy kind of looks like an artful mistake. Orange and brown is home to the absolute worst candies on the market. Between Halloween kisses, candy corn, circus peanuts. So yeah, even though I knew that Reese's tasted good, the color scheme itself was a turn off until I was old enough to realize that it's really on the inside that counts. And what's inside these is peanut butter which means they're kind of like me. Like, if you were to cut me open, I'm at least 45% peanut butter. It really is the crunch that helps separate these big cups from the rest of the pack. Now, not everyone's a fan, such as Bob, who gives these only three stars and writes, Product Bardzo Fanny Ale Bracuji Mi Skladu Pro Santo Wego 9, Zawatarski Chocolady I Mazla or Zechewego. So you're probably asking, Chris, why on earth did you include that customer review? At least 40% of the viewers of this channel are English speaking folks. The rest are children who accidentally clicked on this while looking for Vlad and Nikki. Well, I included this because the Hershey Company actually replied to that writing. We appreciate you sharing your thoughts on Reese's peanut butter cup stuffed with Reese's pieces, and we'll be glad to include your comments on our next report. Thanks, Bob. Like, come on, there is no way that's true. They're putting this in their next report? Look up here for a moment. This is the Hershey executive team. They have names like Steve, James, Jason, and Michelle. They went to schools like the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, Penn State, Purdue, and the University of Wisconsin in Madison. This group, while potentially eclectic, almost certainly did not study Eastern European dialects. Like, is Charles reading this and going, you know, Bob raises some key points here. Let's break off a focus group with the marketing and branding groups to dive deeper into this, maybe pause over the holiday season and spend some real time reflecting on this. We'll aim to share our findings when we reconvene in the new year. Hershey, let me save your team some legwork. This is wonderful. I can't in good conscience put it ahead of the peanut stuffed cup, but this is still a quality second place cup. And you know what? If anybody from the executive team does want to discuss their products further, maybe Kristen can give me a call. She's a former engineer from Austin, Texas. So, so here's my pitch, Kristen. You fly me to Austin. We'll head over to Franklin Barbecue, eat brisket and talk about peanut butter cups. I can't promise your company's gonna make any more money, but you know what? We'll have a hell of a good meal. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And here it is, our ninth competitor and the one I have definitely been looking forward to the most. I don't know if I'm gonna like it the most, but it definitely carries the most intrigue. Chocolate, peanut butter, and chips. You know what? They should have called this concoction the dorm room, but only if it smelled like pizza boxes and weed. I've been actively looking for this for going on two months now. I'd planned to do a review of this when it first came out, and while it's been heavily advertised at every single gas station in my city, I haven't actually seen one. They've been sold out for ages. I'd kind of run out of hope that I'd actually get one, but Christmas miracles were on my side. And you know what? I, I can't hold the suspense any further. Let let's take a look at this right now. So I don't know what I expected with this, but I think I expected something a little bit closer to the now torn picture on the label. I mean, chips are thin, so it makes sense that we're just getting tiny little specks of chips throughout this thing, but I was thinking something more like a dinosaur fossil exhibit. You know, clear evidence of chips with easily identifiable ridges, and this, 
you know, not so much. If I'm being honest, I was totally stoked for this and this feels like a letdown. You do get the nice addition of salty chips, but it's nowhere near enough. The chip crumbs are too small to give it like the power packed crunch that you get with say the pretzels. It's almost gritty, which is an odd texture. I think if the chip pieces were bigger, that's where the money is. But as presented, it's just a gimmick, a fun one, but a letdown. The fans were actually pretty split on this one as well. And I'll cover some of the reviews from the Hershey's site. This incentivized reviewer who chooses to remain anonymous gives it five stars and writes, the chocolate and the potato chip is so booty bussin'. Never get rid of these booty bussin' Reese's, please. Can somebody send me $5 on Venmo? But nice job, Hershey's, this Reese's is so booty bussin'. Now, come on, how am I supposed to Venmo you $5 if you're anonymous? Your booty might be bussin', but it ain't making you no money. Meanwhile, Tyrone brings up sort of a repeat concerning trend, giving them one stars in writing. This chocolate was super crunchy, but it made me sit in the bathroom for hours. Oh God, tonight's gonna be rough. And finally, Mr. Chips, and yes, he's the Mr. Chips, gave them one star writing, sorry, but the potato chip bits I crunched in each bite reminded me I was crunching ground up glass. Don't mess with a good thing if you don't have to. If you gotta add a crunch, I suggest Rice Krispies. If I'm honest, I love the idea of Rice Krispies. It's like a peanut buttery twist on an awesome crunch bar. Maybe the fine folks at Reese's are in fact ready to do this. And maybe I'll steal this idea and share it with Kristen when we head down to Austin together. So in the meantime, I gotta give this a ranking and sorry, potato chip big cup. Um, you're gonna have to slide all the way down over here behind the white chocolate cup. There's just too much work that needs to be done here. In dead last, the stupid Franken cup from Halloween. Eighth place, dark chocolate peanut butter cup. Seventh place, Reese's peanut butter cup stuffed with chips. Sixth place, white chocolate peanut butter cup. Fifth place, peanut brittle peanut butter cup. Fourth place, Reese's stuffed with pretzels. Third place, the original Reese's peanut butter cup. Second place, the king format. Reese's Big Cup stuffed with Reese's Pieces and the very best Reese's Pieces on the market. Big Cup stuffed with peanuts. So there you have it, the definitive ranking of the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You know what, I'd love to hear about your favorites or even which ones have caused you bathroom distress down in the comments below. I also have lots of fresh new content coming your way this week and every week, so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you never ever miss a video. And you know what, between now and then, I will catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.